Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number seven. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about data types or if you guys prefer data types. But because of where I am from in the world, I prefer to say data types. That's just my accent, okay? So let me go ahead and just leave a comment here to say data types. And we're probably gonna be working with this comment uh, most of this tutorial, because we're not gonna code. Um, but basically, what do I mean by data types? Well, I'm simply talking about the type of data that we are storing in our variable or uh, working with anywhere else in our program, okay? So you guys are already familiar with one of our data types, which is called a string. And you guys know that a string is a collection of text. So it's basically letters, numbers, or any funny symbols that are on your keyboard. So basically almost anything that's on your keyboard can be displayed in a string. Okay, so in order to tell PHP where our string starts and ends, um, we use quotation marks, okay, just to uh, basically just so that PHP doesn't get confused and think our text or our string is uh, part of PHP, okay. So that's why we use the quotation marks. And I've already spoken to you guys about this, so uh, I won't talk about it too much, but our first data type is called strings, which you guys know, and these are collections of text, okay? The next data type that I want to talk to you guys about is called an integer. Now, what is an integer? Well, it's the same thing as an integer was in maths, okay? And that is just a positive or negative number with no decimal place. So positive or negative number with no decimal. Okay, and uh, to be clear, 21, my age, would be an integer because there's no decimal place and it's a positive number, okay? So uh, more examples of an integer would be negative one, negative one, okay, negative 200, negative 2,500, whatever, okay, so those are all examples of integers. So basically, as long as it's a number with uh, no decimal, okay, then the next kind of data type that I want to talk to you guys about uh, let's just fix this, go back to 21, okay? The next kind of data type I wanna to talk to you guys about is called a float. And although the name seems kind of confusing, okay, a float is basically what you guys knew in maths class as a real number. In other words, it can be positive or negative, but a float is a number with a decimal place, okay? So negative or positive with decimal, okay? That's what we'll put in the notes, okay? So basically 21 would be an integer because there's no decimal. But as soon as I go 21.5, then this is now a float because a float has a decimal place, okay? Likewise, uh, pi, the value of pi would be uh, a float, so 3.14 something something, whatever pi goes up into, uh, <laughs> it's quite a, quite a high decimal place, okay, uh, and then the, the one of the last variable or data types that I want to talk to you guys about is called a boolean, or if you prefer to pronounce it boolean, okay, and a boolean can only hold one of two values, okay? It can be true or it can be false. Those are the only values a boolean can be. So true or false. 
It can't be both and it can't be anything else other than true or false. Okay, so we'll work with Boolean values a lot uh, later on. But for now, just remember that we've got these data types called Boolean and they can be true or false. Okay, and then the last data type that I want to talk to you guys about is kind of a special data type and that is called null. Now, null in computer programming is nothing. Okay, so let me just type nothing. Okay, that is different from zero. See, zero is still a number. So zero is actually an integer and 0, 0.0 would be a float. Okay, but null is nothing as in there is no value there so it's not a zero it's nothing okay nothing or no value different from zero uh, and those are basically just uh, key concepts that you need to remember when programming okay even though PHP is uh, a loosely typed programming language which means I didn't have to specifically tell PHP when I made my name variable, that name will contain a string or tell PHP that age is going to contain an integer. PHP already knew uh, just by whatever I put on the right hand side of my variable, PHP already assigned a data type to it. So it saw that this was going to be a string and it saw that this is an integer. It was clever enough. Okay, um, not like some other programming languages uh, like Java or C or something where we actually explicitly have to tell the computer what kind of data type we're going to store in a variable. PHP uh, is smart enough to figure these things out by itself. But we as programmers should still know the difference between a string, integer, float, boolean and null. Okay. Uh, and there are a few other data types, but these are the five main ones that we as programmers should never forget. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow, and I'll see you guys next time.